here with head coach Jerry York of Boston College. Jerry, you guys took the regular season title. What does that mean going into this game tomorrow? Well, it's a, it's a the trophy in the bank. Uh, you know, we, we can look over our shoulder at it, but it's not going to help us as we proceed to this weekend. And, you know, we're really focused on, on the Lamarillo Cup. And, you know, we know we have a, a real tough opponent Northeastern tomorrow. And that's a short-term focus right now. You guys have had an incredible season. You've been at the top of the national polls. Can you reflect on your season overall, what kinds of things you guys have been doing well? Yeah, our body work has been outstanding. Uh, we've had great uh, our role models, our upper class players. Uh, and I think it's, it's been inspiring just for us to coach to watch how hard we've worked and how well we've performed over the whole duration of the season. But this is a, well, we always refer to the second season, so it's a completely different environment. Absolutely. Now you won Coach of the Year. Can you talk about what the honor means for you? It's your second time winning this award. Yeah, it's certainly a, a great uh, honor to, to receive. But our, like I said, our focus is always on, you know, we never raised in these mirror rooms. We look around, it's always about me. It's always about me. Every time I look, it's a mirror. But you know, we've always taught that to our players, too. So our, again, our focus is on you know, the Slamarillo Cup. And, uh, uh, but I am very, very honored to be voted to this prestigious uh, award. And if you could give maybe your favorite game over this last season, what would it be? You know, I think uh, just that very last win against UMass, I was tied 2-2 in the third period, and you know, you win and you advance the uh, the garden here, here and get a chance to play for, the, like I talk about, the Lamarillo Cup, and so that's the one that stands out the most to me. Here with Coach Dick Humilly of University of New Hampshire, talk about what it means for you guys to get to the semifinal game. Well, it's uh, you know we're excited to be here. It's uh, it's a difficult place to get to, uh, especially in our league. It's uh, so competitive. Uh, you haven't we haven't been here in the last couple of years. We used to be a regular, and uh, it's nice to be back here. And can you talk about what things you guys have been doing really well throughout the season that might help you in the game tomorrow? Well, I think we've had consistent goaltending, obviously, with Matt DiGiolamo. He's really done a solid, uh, consistent job for us. We've gotten score, scoring uh, not only from our top line of our senior line led by Paul Thompson, but starting to get some scoring from our other lines. So we've had some balanced scoring, and uh, you know we've just been playing some pretty good defense. And talk about Merrimack. What kinds of things are you expecting? Uh, a lot of difficult things. You know, they've had a really good season, you know, and I think what he's done is he's put a great program together. His upperclassmen are some, some of his best players now, along with his uh, younger players, and they have a, a complete team from the net out with Canada and uh, size and scoring, obviously, with Stefan DeCosta. So they do a lot of things very, very well. It's, it, on paper, it's a great matchup. Uh, you know, we lost our last two outings against them, and we're looking forward to an another opportunity to play them. And talk about your top line, very strong forwards. What are they going to do? Well, they're, they're our leadership, and uh, hopefully uh, th that the se our seniors are the only ones that have been here. Uh, they came here as freshmen, and they've had a real good season. They were determined to get back here, and uh, I expect them to lead by example. Coach, let's talk about this weekend, semifinal game. What's that going to be like for your team? Well, we're excited, obviously, you know. I mean, this is a, a, one of our goals for the season is to come here. Uh, you know, Hockey East, uh, I consider it the best Division One college conference in the in the country. So to be representative of the, of the top four teams in the league is, you know, really a feather in our players' caps. But, um, you know, we, we're here to play. And, um, you know, there's a trophy up for grabs on Saturday, and the only way you have a chance at that is to, to put together a good performance tomorrow night. So we're really trying to stay in the moment. And, and focus on the now. Um, at least that's my coach talk. We'll see how the players respond to it. But um, our guys have been pretty business-like all year long, and I'd expect nothing less. And let's talk about the entire season. You guys sort of were coming out of nowhere for some people, and now you're on the radar. You're a very strong team. Can you talk about reflections of the season? Well, coming into this year, especially coming off of last year and, and uh, disappointing playoff loss to Boston University, I felt like we, you know, we returned 20 players. We had a pretty strong freshman class coming in. Um, you know, Stefan DaCosta decided to turn down some NHL teams and come back and play. Um, you know, we felt like we were a pretty good team from the net on out. Uh, but having said that, you have to go, to go play. And, um, you know, we've been pretty good all year long. I, I really, I'm happy with our team's consistency uh, you know we, we got humbled up at Maine a couple weeks ago uh, that may end up being one of the better things that has happened to us it really refocused us and uh, you know I was proud of how our guys responded last weekend and now it's one and done so um, you know there's no safety net 
and talk about the Super of May last weekend. What an incredible home arena you guys had and the support from the fans. Well, you know, the quarterfinals are tough because a lot of students are away. Uh, luckily enough for our schedule, logistically, our students were still in session. So they bring a lot of life to the building. Um, you know, I can't thank Glenn Hoff and President Hopi enough for all that they did, not only in the preparations, um, you know, but in the marketing of it, uh, the, the game set up, the management itself, uh, the block party was outstanding. It was one of those things I wish our players could have gotten a, a taste of. But uh, it was a great atmosphere, and with, uh, with only 2,500 seats, we always felt like it would be a home ice advantage if we could pack it, and it was packed. Here with Coach Cronin from Northeastern University. Coach, talk about the season. Can you give us some highlights of some really great moments for your team? Well, we started out poorly. We were like 1-7-4 and four in our first 12 games, whatever that is. And then it seems right around the holidays we picked up and we started to have some believability to what we were doing. Um, the highlight, obviously, was coming you know, so close to winning the bean pot. And then I felt after those type of games in the bean pot, some of those teams have a letdown. And I knew, knew that the team was going to be very resilient after the bean pot because we just kept winning, even though the schedule included BU, BC, and UNH. Yeah, and like you said, you guys really started picking it up. What does that mean for you guys to sort of have come from so far behind to coming this far? What's tomorrow going to be like? Well, I think some of that, that progress we made through the season has given us the ability, number one, to get through the BU series. And then, you know, I think the BC game on Friday night, tomorrow night, will be the biggest game of the year. I mean, they're a terrific team. And we've been fortunate. Every game's been close with them. Um, for me, they're a team you cannot turn the puck over. You can't give them odd man rushes, and you can't give them power plays. So I think we know that. We played them three, three times in uh, a matter of like six or seven days about two weeks ago. It's a matter of our team executing that plan. Absolutely. And how about your fans? You guys have some really loud fans. Do you think they're going to be there cheering you guys on, helping you guys out with Morley? Well, it's funny because um, early in the year they, they were showing up, you know, they were filling the rink up, and then we started to lose some games to teams we probably shouldn't have. So they started to, you know, just kind of wash out of the building. And then I said to my assistants, I hope to God these kids come back because, you know, they, they were really, I think, um, supporting, supportive a year ago when we ended up 16 and 16, and they came out in masses two years ago when we had an NCAA team. Um, but we knew that we had some support when we played BC. I was actually watching the game from my computer because I wasn't coaching, but we played BC at home, and it was a full house, and it was crowded. And then, sure enough, they showed up in mass against BU as well. So they'll be there. I heard they, they already bought, bought up like 2,000 uh, tickets for the game tomorrow night, and the uh, ticket office has to keep going over and getting more from the garden. So we expect them to be there as full as they were in the bean pot. And can you talk about what kinds of things you get, your team has been doing well that might help you out tomorrow versus BC? Well, we're a physical team, and I think a lot of people like, I mean, hockey's a contact sport and like to see that, but, you know, we've also been playing a fast-paced game, a good transitional game, and um, I think we're exciting to watch. I really do. We don't slow it down. We, we kind of adapt to whatever the pace of the game's going to be. Um, I don't know if anybody's quite as fast as, as BC is, but, you know, we're going to try and match the speed they have, and um, like I said, I think the key for us is going to be staying out of the penalty box and having a good penalty killing when they do get a power play, and I think people that see our power play, we don't score as much as other teams do, but it's actually pretty fun power play to play to watch because we move it around pretty quickly. Uh, actually, that was a catalyst behind the, the close game and the bean pot and then the win at home as well. So hopefully if, the, if I see that, the fans see that, it, it, should be a, it should be a good game for Northeastern.